Oh hi everyone, Silas Silence here, and welcome back to the 31 days of Halloween. I know I haven't been recording videos lately, and this makeup may be a little bit out of date, but I still want to do a twofer. Um, basically, if you guys remember the teaser trailers for American Horror Story a few months back with the clowns, these are the looks, and I decided to do two, so one on me and one on my boyfriend here. Uh, I did the lead one on me and then one of the basically followers was based on one of theirs. So if you want to see how I created these looks, please continue watching. Um, but how, I have a lot in store for you for this year's 31 days of Halloween. Alright, so I am super excited to be back here for the 31 days of Halloween. Um, hopefully all of this goes in on our because I am having surgery this month, so I'm trying to get a lot done at one time. Um, hopefully I'll be better enough to start doing some of the other ones. So first I start off with some black uh, water-activated paint, and I started drawing uh, out the mouth. So, as the title and stuff would say, I got the inspiration for these from the teaser trailers for American Horror Story Cult. I still haven't started watching that yet, so I don't know if it's any good. I've heard mixed reviews. But... I didn't really like the clown looks from here, so that's what I got inspired from. So, all I'm doing right now is using some black water activated paint, and I am drawing out the mouth, the nose, and the eye shapes. The next thing I'm doing is taking some white water activated paint, and I am pinking everywhere. Normally for me, I have to do more than one coat because you can always see my skin after I do white. Need to figure out maybe a better way. I know cream paint might work a little bit better for me, but cream paint's nasty to put on your skin. It's just, uh, it's not fun to wear out anything. And then I'm going, after I finish painting my whole face white, I am going in with some of the black again and going around my eyes. Yes, and please ignore my boyfriend in the back. He is making a sign because the night I did these makeup looks, I was doing face painting at a show. So it was a carnival themed show. So it was like, hey, let's do, let's get two things done at once. And I also wanted to start with, like, start, not, sort of, big for the 31 days of Halloween, but I wanted to get you, you know, like, kind of a dual feature, even though I, like, mine turned out a little bit better than his, um, just because I didn't end up liking the smudging that he did. Um, but now I'm taking some dark blue water-activated paint, and I'm painting in the rest of the But I do have some exciting things planned for this 31 days of Halloween, just hopefully I am able to get to it. I have, at this moment in time of recording this, I have 10 recorded and I'm about to do some more today. Um, hopefully have enough for me to heal from surgery. And you will also get to see my surgery video hopefully eventually. So, that's something I look forward to this month. Okay, so I'm also taking that dark blue and I am painting the lines on my mouth, and then in between those, I am going in with some red water-activated paint. Also, after like the tenth video, I actually have a backdrop now, so the later videos, I will have backdrop while we're doing this. Eventually I'm planning on getting a bigger, better one. I just have the stand right now and I'm using a sheet, but that's besides the point. Um, then I also use that red on my nose. And now I'm just going in with that black water activated paint again and I'm 
just crisping up those black lines again because obviously when you paint with the other colors, they tend to end up covering the black a little bit and I just want them to be very crisp lines so I'm going over them. And that's pretty much all I did for my clown look. So next we'll move on to what I did for my boyfriend's. So again, I start off with using the black water activated paint and drawing on the eye shapes. He looks so amused to be doing this. Luckily he loves me. <laughs> and then I just go in with the white paint again and I think I did two layers for him as well just painting the rest of the face white with the white activated paint. And now he really hates me because now I'm going in with black around his eyes and <laughs> trying not to get it in his eyes. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm really excited to get back into doing makeup. I do plan on sticking to it now after this time because I'm starting to get a better setup. It'll be a lot easier for me to do. And once I get out, obviously, we really plan on spending each night being a little bit creative, whether it's doing this or some other things. I also plan on here soon um, opening an Etsy store where I am going to sell prosthetics that I make. Um, there's a video here coming up soon that you'll see that is a punk zombie and I made an anarchy um, prosthetic to put on the side of my head and I also plan on selling that one as far as some other ones that I end up making. Um, but basically the process on his was pretty close to the same at this point, um, except for I am smudging his out a little bit more, so after I paint in the blue I'm going in with my finger and smudging the edges. Because for the other clowns they were all obviously not as pretty because they were um, basically the followers. And now I'm painting on the nose that I had forgot to draw on earlier, so I'm just painting it in with the red. And I'm also painting uh, his mouth. I ended up doing a frown face, but I ended up not liking that too much on him. But it looks alright, it, it's not too bad. Um, I'm a lot more proud of the one I did on myself, but you never know how things are going to turn out. So I'm also going in with some of the black and drawing little lines as kind of like sad tears and such on his face. And then this is the part where I really start not liking it. Like at first it's okay with this um, red line, but when I start smudging it out I end up not liking it, it as much. But that's pretty much how I created these looks. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys for the rest of the 31 days of Halloween.